Hi there, I'm Toby, and I'm going to be cooking recipes coming to you every single week. I've just popped down to my local Woolies and grabbed some beautiful fresh produce here to make a dish for you, which is a hearty beef stroganoff. You'll need beef strips, seasonal mushrooms, select bacon, and sour cream. Click here for the full recipe and to add all the ingredients to your trolley when you shop online. Now you may notice I have put a pan on the heat. I want to get that really quite hot, so I really want to brown up the beef very quickly. I'm going to add a tablespoon of olive oil into here. I'm going to do it in two batches. So just a handful into there, and really quickly kind of spread that meat around, and then let it sit for a moment. I'm going to count to 40, and it will be beautifully browned. I'll flip it over, count to 40, remove it from the pan. I've chosen some bacon here with a small amount of fat. That fat's really going to render down with the onion and bring loads of flavour into there. Just kind of cut it into fat battens. I'm going to finely slice this onion. Beef is cooked. So I'm going to be using a bit of a combo of mushrooms. I have some little guys here. So I'm going to leave them whole. I'm going to start to cut these mushrooms to their similar size to those. Now, a good little tip when you're chopping absolutely anything is you can see I've taken the first slice out, put it on a flat edge. It's not going to wobble anywhere, and then you can kind of fly through there. When selecting, make sure you choose firm mushrooms that aren't slimy and make sure you store them in a brown paper bag. So I'm going to take a small amount of olive oil and go back into the pan just a little bit because now I'm going to put the bacon into there as well as the onion. Just kind of crumble them in when your hands to break them up as they go in. Then I'll reduce the temperature from kind of medium high down to medium. We don't want to burn these onions. So today I'm going to serve this with pasta. Now is a good time to put that in. This has been cooking away for about four minutes and those onions are starting to get really soft now. You can see them almost get mushy and the bacon's doing its job. That fat's rendered down and there's a nice little amount in the bottom there which is doing the frying. Now we turn the heat up as high as it will go. Wait till the pan's quite hot. Now mushrooms go in. Then we want to cook these quite quickly till they're nice and browned on the outside. If you can't flip everything around the pan without it getting on your shoes, just use tongs, it's absolutely fine, or a wooden spoon. And as you can see, this is done. The mushrooms are browned up. I'm going to take this meat now and pop it back into the pan. Let's give it a little bit of a mix through. Secret ingredient for this dish is a Worcestershire sauce. So I'm going to put a bit of this into there, a nice lug. For the last ingredient, I need some sour cream. I'm going to go directly into here about 250 mils of sour cream. I'm going to turn the heat off right now, and there's a reason for that. If we sort of cook this out too much, you'll find that that cream will split. And we just actually want it to really coat all of this beef, the bacon, the mushrooms in there. So it starts to look like stroganoff, which it is. Now, while that's sitting for one moment, I'm going to grab some flat leaf parsley. Just kind of bunch it up in your fingers as much as you can. And don't worry if you've got a little bit of stalk in there either. And then run through it with a nice knife. This can go directly in. And I'm going to have a season with salt and pepper as well, remembering we put Worcestershire sauce into there, so don't go too heavy with this. So it's always better, I think, to under-season things to start with. This is looking ready to plate now, so there's one job left to do. Job done. The last thing to do now is plate up. So grab some of the pen and put it on the bottom. And we'll grab some of this. And be sure to get the liquid from the bottom from there as well. When I'm up in the mountains on snowboard trips, stroganoff is exactly the kind of thing I'm after. The ingredients are readily available and it's really quick to make and huge on flavour and gets you lots and lots of energy for the slopes. Now, if you like that, all the ingredients can be purchased at your local Woolies and online by clicking here. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking here and explore all our other fresh ideas recipe videos by clicking here.